Welcome back, my beauty squad. How you been? If you're new, it's your girl Jessica. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down in that corner or in that one. And that you got that bell turned on. That way you get notified for any and every video upload. Because your girl uploads daily. Plus, I go live every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And we have loads of fun there. We chit chat, play with makeup, skincare, help each other, motivate each other, and encourage each other. And just it's a awesome community to be surrounded by. So if you have not joined one of my lives, please, please do so. You will not be disappointed. So a little recap on today's video. I am doing a full face, all new products to me. First impressions, I've got the whole Too Faced Peach Collection. I've got the foundation, the primer, and the setting spray. Did my girl not only sit me? I also have some Gimme Brow products that I've never tried before that my girl not only sent me. Some sharp, uh, tart shape tape. I've never tried. Also, mascara. I've got Hourglass and a Superhero It's mascara. I've got some Becca primer. I have a brand new foundation brush. Y'all know I am a sponge queen when it comes to laying down my foundation. But I saw this hype all over Instagram. And I was just like, no way. So, I'm going to attempt to do my makeup with this brush. It comes with a really pretty case. I do have to say, it took forever for it to get to me. This is what the brush looks like. It has a little bitty handle. It's very compact, very dense. It feels really good. It's really soft. So, I'm going to attempt to do my makeup with this, with my foundation with this. And I also have my beauty blender just in case I do have I need to wet it. I'm just gonna wet it with some setting powder. I mean setting powder. Some setting mist. So and I have some liners I got to try out, a face palette, highlighters, all that good stuff. So if you want to watch how everything goes, please stay tuned. I will see you in a second. So you're still here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all don't know how much it means to me for each one of y'all to sit and watch my videos. Thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. It really does mean everything to me. I know I'm not a professional by no means. And I'm not the most, I'm not the best YouTuber by, by a long shot. But just for you to stick around and watch one of my videos and to leave so many amazing comments is just everything to me. So before I get started, I just wanted to show you, look Stacy, hey, I am running you. <laughs> I really, really do hate that I do not, I'm not able to sit and chat as much as I would like to, but she's been going live every day and there's no way possible. I may try not to film at this hour because I usually have to post at night the same day. So it kind of sucks. It, it kind of intervenes with our little scheduling. But I do have her running every day that she's live. I will put her up and run. I was so happy yesterday because I didn't even have to film because I went live yesterday. So I was able to stick her out and chit chat. So I'm going in with a Too Faced Prime and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. Infused with peach and sweet fig cream. This is what it looks like. Like I said, I have the primer, the 
foundation and the setting spray. I think that's just the cutest. I'm just going to start pumping it. Ooh, look, it's pinky. And put a little bit on my hands. And I was going to use a different primer as well, but I want to see how this works by itself. But I can give y'all my honest opinion on this whole little line. I did. I did, I did, I did. Get all these goodies from my bestie. Naomi, she was just so kind and so sweet enough to send me some of her extra goodies she had at the house. And it's the best because as a mother of eight, almost nine, well, eight and a half because I still got that one in the oven. It is really hard to just sit out and go spend a lot of money on makeup. So I always appreciate anything and everything someone gives me to be able to sit down and do a video on. It helps so much with my content. So, first and foremost, I feel the cooling effect already. It's not really tacky. It's set down really good. I don't really care too much for the tacky ones. It feels really nice, real smoothing on the face. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the foundation. And it's just so cute. together. This is Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort 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 Bat Foundation infused with peach and sweet fig milk. This is oil for oil free. I can't even talk today. What the heck? 14 hour wear oil controlling photo friendly. We shall see. We shall see if how true that is. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about my setting powder. I've got a new setting powder to try too. Love the packaging again. And see, this one will be easy because you can probably pop this off and like scrape it if you were like panning or anything else. Ooh, look. This might be a tad little dark. Maybe not. I might make it work. If it is, I have some I could lighten it up with. Again, I'm going to go in with this brush. Wish me luck. I don't really use brushes. I really want to get into it because I know it kind of saves money than having to buy a sponge all the time. I just really, really like my sponges. And I'm the type of person if, you know, if something works, why, why, why would I mess around with it, you know? But for my channel, I've got more adventurous. Okay, you already see the difference. Y'all, I think I might actually like this brush. This is up close. No, it's not full coverage, but I'm pretty sure you can build it up. And I just did one pump, so I'm going to go with pump and a half, I think, is about what I got. Yep. And you can't really see the product on a brush. The only thing I already can tell you I'm not going to like about this brush and that's just my preference. I will have to re go ahead and order another one. It does say that it takes one to three days for it to dry once you wash it. I guess because it's so compact and you have to let it like air dry. That's a long time, especially if you're somebody like me. And I wear makeup daily because I film daily. So... I'm going to have to go ahead and go in and probably order me another one just to have to be able to go back and forth with. I should have ordered two right then and there, but I didn't. I was like, it's a brush. Why do I need two? No, I know why. 
Okay, I'm really liking this coverage. Y'all can go back on any one of my videos that I do makeup on. And go ahead and see how it looks with a sponge. I will do a like a battle of. If y'all would like to see like a sponge compared to this, let me know down below in the comments. And I could do half sponge, half uh, brush. I like this. I never thought I would be sitting here saying I like a brush to do my foundation. But I really, really like it. If you like dense, compact brushes, you need to try this. I do know my sis Stacy had ordered one. I don't know if she's got hers yet. I need to ask her to see if she's tried hers yet. Let's see, she already does a lot of foundations with her brushes. So it's not like a real new thing to her, like it is for me. But I'm liking this coverage. I am going in over it once again. I like full coverage foundation. This is a really good match for my summer shade. Now. I will probably have to lighten it up for like winter, but for right now, it fits me, so we're good, we're good. But I do not buy it at all. Okay, so to do like you would with a sponge to like beat your face, this actually kind of works. Do y'all see? What I'm talking about. Okay. I'm not going to cover my boo boo. For all that's watered us. I got. Um, a cold sore there. At all places. And. I had. It's just now dried up. It's just healing. I was trying not to put nothing on it. Until it healed, but you know what? It is what it is. I do like this foundation. I do like the coverage of this foundation. I do like the brush as well. Using the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Concealer. Now, this one, I did cheat a little bit. I have tried this last night on my live. I did really like it, but it's still a new product. All right, uh, let me get my sponge. I know a lot of people go in with their fingers with a concealer. I haven't yet. I don't. I'll probably put my eyeball out with these long nails. It's because I'm not really used to long nails. I usually get shorter ones, but I, I really, really like the design on these. All the sparkle and these designs came all in one pack. And for five dollars, you can't beat that. I did have my, my baby doctor, well, my baby nurse, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, and she was like, oh, I love your nails, and I was like, yeah, I got a Dollar General for $5, she's like, no, flip it away, and I was like, yeah, and I guess because how I pushed them up in there, I don't know, she just told me they looked really, really good, and that if I wouldn't have told her that they would press on nails, she would never know. So that kind of made me feel good about myself. I was like, I get better at doing my nails. Also, do y'all see my shirt? The bling bling diva. She gave me a shirt along with my, my girls the day she came over. Painted it the prettiest.
there we go. Yay. And usually what I do is, you see how I put that dark right there? You want it to be shaded out just a little bit. But if you're worried about going in too dark, just take up some concealer or some foundation, whatever you want to use. Might need my brushes. Might would help. Whatever you want to use and blend with it. It does make it a little bit more creamier. It helps out. She did send me a little set of brushes. I might try to try out. I might try to try out. Like, what What? what are you speaking, Jessica? You know, I can't speak today. Beautiful. There we go. And you see how, like, it's a little bit streaky right there? I will show you how to fix that. Just make sure you blend it out really good because sometimes you can just blend it out. And you see how it's a little streaky? You want to go in. I'm going to use the foundation. Pop a little dot right there. Just the littlest, as you can tell. Take my brush and blend it in. And it helps blend it out and take that streakiness away. But I do like underneath my neck to be darker. It gives that shadow effect. And y'all, I have a turkey neck. I have like triple chin. I always have. It's kind of like narrowed out a little bit since I've been pregnant. But for the most part, I still see. Y'all see that? It's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with a turkey chin. You just embrace it and try to hide it. <laughs> just, just, just try to hide it. And then I always go in with my sponge. And I might need to put a little bit more concealer right there. Just to take that warp out. I'm used to my sponge having like foundation on it. And it don't right now. There we go. And I just like to go in with a sponge at top. Make sure the the little contour the bronzer and my light kind of fade together. You don't want no rough edges. Oh my god, my nose. Yeah, my nose, my nose. When ain't my nose running though? That is attached to my body because if it won't. Y'all be seeing a girl running, chasing her nose. And this right here is the Hourglass setting powder. And I was going to wait because I've got a couple still open. But I can't wait. I can't wait. And this lasts up to 12 months. Sorry if y'all hear my kids' TV in the background. I'm really sorry. I might should have done this beforehand. I always try to prepare before. I mean, you guys, so you guys gotta sit here and wait 20,000 minutes for me to take some plastic off. Especially whenever I have nails. But your girl wasn't ready. There we go. How beautiful is that? Like, do y'all see this? Right. 
I don't even know how. Okay. Don't waste that, Jessica. What is wrong with you? This is not my glass. Okay, I'm gonna be using my brush. And I'm going around and cleaning it up first. And that's what it looks like. And just setting that under the eyes. Oh my goodness, this is <sighs> bougie the house. Y'all all have been picking all these since my birthday. It feels really good on the face. All right. You just shake it a little bit. And then I was going to put some uh, eyeshadow probably on my eyes, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just taking an access. So. Look how pretty. And it is like slap full. I love seeing containers like that. And this is pushed in. So this actually seals the H. So you're, you don't open up an epic mess like most containers. I really, really like it, y'all. Okay, so now for bronzing. How beautiful is this? I did go in with this one yesterday, but I think I went a little too heavy handed. Like I said, some of this I have tried once on my live yesterday, but that was it. Just because I couldn't help it. When I have new makeup here, it is so hard to keep my hands out of it. I, I, I'm literally like a kid in a candy store. Or in a toy store. And you're like, oh my god, I gotta have that, I gotta have that, I gotta have that. I gotta play with that. And I gotta play with that. Yeah, that's 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 how I am. I really like this palette. I'm so glad that um Naomi sent it to me because I had chose the blush palette just because I don't have a lot of blushes. But this is like the whole palette. Like you get a blush right there too. Well, nice highlight. You know, like just go. This is a Banner Fire Powder. I mean, powder it is the setting powder. And I just wanted to try a little bit. Okay. That's pretty. That's really pretty. This would be a really excellent palette, palette to take on, take on a go with you. I need my nose contour. I love this Luxie brush for my nose contour. I've got to get me a new brush holder because my double sided brushes are getting messed up. I'm setting them in a cup. You see that? You see that quick reflex? And y'all, I know that I film way too long. Like my videos are super, super long. Please, please, please feel free to click those little three dots that's right up in here. And it says playback. And it will say normal. You just speed me up. You won't hurt my feelings at all, I promise. Not hurt my feelings. Now, I do have a Scott Bars palette that I just got, but I've already tried that a couple of times and I absolutely love it. So, I'm going to try these blushes out of this that I just received. Being it's new, too. So, 
You say what it say. I'm gonna mix this one with a little bit of that one. Hold on. That's pretty. And I'm going to have very light handed just because that other palette, they're the same place, like for the same brand. And the other palette is very pigmented. And I don't want to like, uh, I don't want an epic mess. You know what I mean? So I try to go in light handed just to see how it looks. Let's see if we can build it up. I'm just going in with that pink shade. Okay, yeah, it builds up. And yes, I know y'all probably don't see a lot of people blow their brushes. But I blow my brushes whenever I don't know how pigmented something is. Just because knocking it off, it will get it all the way off. I mean, you don't want it all the way off, don't get me wrong, but, you know, you want it off some part. Because I'd rather build it up than uh, try to tone it down. It's a lot easier to build up than it is to tone down, I promise. Alright, All right. there's that. I'm really liking all the products I just used. This is the Too Faced Peach Mist, Mattifying Setting Mist, infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Look at this bottle. And it's so pretty. And it smells good. I love anything with peaches in it. Where is the sponge? I do like to go in with a sponge. And just set everything down just in case I have any like wet spots or you know anything the mist might have like skipped over. You know, you kind of pick it up from the beauty blender and then push it around. I feel weird saying beauty blender because this is actual beauty blender. I try to catch myself when I say beauty blender because most of the time it's not actual beauty blender. Okay, so that is done. Let's put on some highlight. I want to try the Natasha Nona Glow Gold I got for my birthday from Mizzy Beauty and the whole beauty squad. This is my little goodie kit. This is the first time I have tried out Natasha Denona, Edie Thing. I really want to get the pink one like this. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Yeah, y'all can see it better on this side from my lighting. Very shimmery. Very pretty. I like it. Oh, look at the notes. Now, I have my Ofra over here, too. I was going to try out. But I will save that for another day to try. Naomi was sweet enough to send me a few Ofras. Okay, to the brows. And then we'll be done. This is the whole little brow raising lineup in 3.5 Benefit Mini Brown Winners. Smudge proof cream gel. Okay, let's 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 see how this works out. 
I'm gonna go in with a pencil first. And I'm just outlining my brows. Just like so. My mom must be out and about in the living room. I hear Miss Luna there. And she has Luna today, well, right now for me. While I'm filming. Yeah, Miss Jasmine didn't want to go to sleep last night and fell asleep around 12 in the afternoon. I really like this. Really excited because I don't have a lot of um, brow products. I don't have no pomades. Oh, I used to love pomades for my brows. Because as you can tell, I don't have any. I have like no brows and pomades tend to last a little bit longer. They're a little bit harder to work with. But to me they last a little longer. And it's all in preference. Like I'm really glad that they have different products. You know what I mean? So whatever your, whatever f tickles your fancy. <laughs> but I'm super excited to have a pomade now. I really want to try the Anastasia pomade as well. I, I can't wait. When I tell you I'm behind, I'm like behind. So this one is Brow Gel Vibubizin and 4. So this should be tinted as well. Yep. I'm just going to put a little bit. Like that. Just like so. I love it. It is a little harsh. More harsher than I'm used to. But I really do like it. And you don't have to use all three. All the time. All together. I just kind of wanted to show you which ones. Like what they all did. But I really think I'll be ordering. Getting some more of these. Whenever these run out. Because they are bitties. And I go through brow products pretty quickly because I have no brows and that's like a essential I have to put on but y'all I absolutely loved everything this is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk liner and I have a mini pillow top lipstick yep look how pretty not many liners am I safe with Overlining my lips like I just did, but this one I am is a beautiful shade. It's not too harsh. I really, really, really like this. I love how comfortable Charlotte Tilbury is on her lips. My bestie Bobby swears by it. So, so with that being said, I'm gonna cut it short. I've gonna got y'all here over 30 minutes. That's way over what I like to normally film. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I will be posting this up tonight. I do have a giveaway going over going up tomorrow. My giveaway for the three palettes is over. I do have to still choose a winner though. So stay tuned for that. 
I will be choosing the first winner, contacting them, or, you know, announcing it, letting them contact me, and then, you know, go from there. But I love y'all. I hope y'all like this. I enjoyed literally every single thing worked amazingly for me. I couldn't be more happier with the products. I really like the foundation and the little trio. The setting spray and all worked amazingly. I'm going to be continuing my video for tomorrow. So I'll stop it now. I was going to try out the mascara, but it kind of kept me my shot about the mascara. This is the palette I've given away. Well, this was mine. This is the palette that I've given away. So, if you did not receive one, or you're interested in one, or even if you received one and you want to get one for a gift for somebody, have a backup because it's like your best, best, best thing. Stay tuned for the video because you won't have one chance. You have two chances to win. Because me and my girl, Bobby, loves beauty. We are duoing a giveaway. So you have a chance to win one on mine or on hers. Just make sure you subscribe to both. I love y'all. To the next one. Peace.